They await your truth! It is not truth that matters, but victory. Twenty years after World War I, optimism would be undone. The fateful Treaty of Versailles was all too easily defied. The depths of the Great Depression fueled German unrest and aggression, and from 39 to 45, 60 million more would lose their lives. But how did Europe descend once more from fragile peace to total war? How was Germany infected? By a poisonous leader's bleak objective, a leader who would instigate a regime of terror built on hate. Come with us now as we pursue the history bomb of World War II. We must rise up and take a stand, bring glory to the fatherland. Our children, this Aryan race, will save us from our past disgrace. Cast out the Jews, they make us weak, guilty for our shameful defeat. We have suffered so dreadfully. Let us now secure our destiny. Hitler seized control of Germany in 1933 and defied the Treaty of Versailles, rearming, marching into the Rhineland and Austria and invading Czechoslovakia. In August 1939, with tensions rising across Europe, he found an unlikely Russian ally in Joseph. Stalin, may I propose a pact? Our two great nations should not attack. Fighting together will lay the foundation for our European domination. Okay, I will take this chance. Forget an alliance with Britain and France. Good. To Poland, let's attack quickly. And we'll split the land. 50-50. In September 1939, Germany and Russia invaded Poland with an agreement to divide the country between themselves. Britain's Prime Minister Neville Chamberlain had always aimed to maintain peace with Germany, but this time he could not ignore Hitler's aggressive intent. Now with regards to the state of Poland, I can assure you it's all in hand. We must stay calm, I am quite sure. Knowing Herr Hitler, he'll soon withdraw. Sir, sorry to butt in. It's 11 o'clock. We haven't heard from Berlin. Good Lord, we can't hold back anymore. I have no choice. We are at war. As Britain and France prepared for war, German forces tore through Western Europe with a new form of highly intensive warfare known as Blitzkrieg. They overran France with devastating speed. And by May 1940, the Allies were forced back to the English Channel. Now, I've heard about Terry's famous Blitzkrieg, but I never thought they'd attack with this speed. They've pushed us all the way back to the beaches. We've dumped our kit and I'm down there in breaches. Well, we best keep going. I hope they got some boats. There's 300,000 Tommies to float. Do you ever think we'll return to this section? Well, who knows? Right now, there's only one direction. Against the odds, 300,000 Allied troops were evacuated at Dunkirk, but they left behind a lot of men and valuable equipment. With Western Europe overrun, Britain now stood alone, and in the summer of 1940, Hitler attempted a knockout blow to the Royal Air Force to paved the way for a full invasion of Britain. By Joe! They mean business, this Luftwaffe. I don't think we're far away from disaster. Yes, they're coming thick and fast, but our new Spitfires are up to the task. I do hope your eyes will despite at all costs. If the RAF fails, all hope will be lost. There's another squadron over the channel! Here we go, don't amble, scramble. Hitler's plan to invade Britain was stopped in its tracks as the RAF held firm, much to the delight of Britain's new Prime Minister. Oh, Prime Minister! German bombers continued to pound British cities for months during the Blitz without a breakthrough. Eager for progress, Hitler looked east. Mein Führer, we blast another bomber. I feel this blitz can't last much longer. Blast? In that case, we march east to Russia. Stalin's not going to like this. In June 1941, German forces advanced against Russian troops, who to this point had been on the same side. Then, as if taking on one growing superpower was not enough, in December there was trouble in paradise as US forces in Hawaii came under a surprise Japanese attack. What in the heck is going on? These Japanese, they're just too strong. They've taken out the battleships and our planes have burned out on the airstrip. The sneak attack, they've got some nerve. Don't worry, they'll get what they deserve. They won this battle, but well, watch out, Japan. You've just awoken Uncle Sam. The Japanese attack on Pearl Harbor brought the USA into the war. This would prove pivotal, and in June 1942, the US struck a decisive victory over the Japanese at the Battle of Midway. In October, the Allies would have further success, this time in the Egyptian desert. Strew! This heat is berserk. The Egyptian sun is even hotter than Perth. Toughen up, mate. Endure the pain. Let's get ready for the battle at El Alamein. The chances of victory are already slight, and now they expect us to fight them at night? Just put your faith in General Montgomery. This is a man that can lead us to victory. The Allies' victory at El Alamein proved a decisive turning point in the North Africa campaign. Meanwhile, on the Eastern Front, the Germans were suffering heavy losses in the snows of Stalingrad. They were short of supplies and the Russians were resolute and determined. 
Whilst Hitler continued to send divisions east, in June 1944, the Allies launched an ambitious attack in France. Howdy y'all, get out the way, America's here to save D-Day. We got as many troops as you could want to open up a second front. We'll flood the beaches with our guys and take the Germans by surprise. Our tanks and guns will never miss. They're never going to let us forget this. The D-Day landings gave the Allies a foothold in Europe, for which they pushed forwards towards Germany. It wasn't all plain sailing. But after 11 months, on the 8th of May 1945, victory in Europe was secured. Whilst Germany surrendered, Japan refused to back down, and the USA decided to unleash two knockout blows. My God, what have we done? Hiroshima and Nagasaki, well, they're just gone. The nuclear age has been unfurled. We are become death destroyer of worlds. On the 15th of August 1945, Japan surrendered to save their lives. The entire world had been transformed around this truly global war. Countless lives in countless lands, lost so that we might stand. Together, now the guns have ceased as nations side by side in peace. <laughs>